How did John Krasinski know that the monsters operated by sound at the beginning? Huh? At the beginning of A Quiet Place Part 2, John places his hand over somebody who was muttering to himself quietly, almost as if he knew that the creatures operated by sound. But how did he know that? Did the movie give some sort of indication that he figured that out? Why was the monster passing by the storefront listening for them? I mean, was there no more sound in the town even though the attack had started moments earlier? Good point. Why did everyone leave the farmhouse at the beginning of the film? I know one of the buildings is on fire, and there's another one that's flooded, but they still had plenty of food, shelter, and water. Was it really better to explore the unknown with a fucking baby? Why was Killian Murphy asked to go find the girl when he made it very clear that he wanted nothing to do with her? And why did he do it? Was there half a day together all it took to convince him to go? And why did the little girl tell Killian that he was nothing like her father? At any point in the film, did it make it seem like Killian wanted to be like their father or thought that he was better than their father? And why did the son go exploring the factory even though he had a messed up leg? Did Killian indicate that he was hiding something that made exploration necessary? Why, Melinda, that was done for. Suspense. Wow. How incredibly stupid. What was the point in the people guarding the boats? They were killed pretty easily. Wouldn't they know that bunching together would end up being their downfall? I mean, you could have just had the creatures in the area. That way you wouldn't have to pay a bunch of nobody's money for a scene that seemed incredibly pointless. Or actually make them adept psychopaths that provide a greater challenge. So the creature just stayed on top of the boat for the entire journey and then ended up landing on the exact same island as them? That's a pretty big fucking coincidence. Why didn't the pointless people just try going to the island? Did they not know about the island? What was the point of guarding the boats? So Killian discovered the boat that the creature was on, which seemed to have arrived on the island before anyone noticed. Yet he was still able to make it to the people making noise before the incredibly fast creature did. Why did the monster appear in the falling water, despite Emily Blunt and the two kids hiding in the furnace for a long period of time? Was it asleep in there? And why did Emily run as soon as it appeared? The movie had already established that waterfalls made it harder for the monster to hear. Did she forget that? And why are the creatures actively killing people? Doesn't seem to be eating them. If it's because the noise annoys them, then shouldn't they be okay as long as there's no noise at all? Yet it always looks to be hunting. Also, wouldn't their shrieks be counterproductive to the whole noise thing? Why was Jaiman Hanso depicted as a badass character, but then killed off in the most unbadass way? Could they not have thought of a better way to kill him? Why did the creature break into the building that they were in? Nobody was making any noise. Did it just know there were people inside? Why did the movie end during the climax? I can answer that one, Melinda. It's to set up a good place for a sequel. But who would be idiot enough to watch another one of these? Weren't the first two bad enough? Oh, oh no! no. Turns out we're the idiots. But no, seriously, this movie's pretty stupid. <laughs>